what is up everybody welcome back to the channel It's jasper and dylan here now yesterday i made my first video around the cwb or the canada workers benefit which again is completely different than the benefit that you guys are more used to which is the cwlb which stands for the canada worker lockdown benefit now in my yesterday's video there were a lot of comments in the form of questions so in today's video i prepared this document which is a q a a question and answer with all those piled up questions in my yesterday's video so we can go through the answers for all those questions and it is much more readily available for all of you guys now if you like this kind of content help me out by smashing that like button right down below and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel make sure you do that now before we start taking a look at the questions and the answers of those questions in this q a document that i prepared for each and every one of you a quick public service announcement is that some of the information that we'll be sharing with you guys today is definitely overlapping with yesterday's video around the cwb so if yesterday's video was clear enough for you then today's video is not for you since there seems to be a small minority and again it's very small that likes to point that out since my main goal for this channel is to provide as much value as i can to each and every one of you in this daily update videos that i'm making and i really hope that i'm doing that for you so now that that's out of the way let's go and take a look at the first question which is what is the cwb so the canada workers benefit is a federal refundable tax credit for eligible low-income individuals and families available for the first time in 2019 and thereafter so again it's a federal refundable tax credit and it's not a benefit that you guys can apply each and every month this you apply once you're applying your taxes whether you do that online or through paper filing now moving on and talking about the second most requested question from yesterday's video which is the following to know how to apply for the benefits so the CWB is calculated on schedule 6 of your income tax return again referring to that this is a one-time payment that you guys get once you're filing for your taxes whether you do that online or through paper application and then this amount is entered on line 45,300 which was line 453 on 2019 which is page number four of your income tax return now continuing with the Q&A document the next question is who is eligible for the benefit and this question seemed to be pretty clear in yesterday's video so we're gonna skip over this and go directly into another very requested question which is the following right over here in terms of working income includes and this is for those people asking whether self-employed individuals were able to apply for this benefit again if you fall under this threshold income so the four incomes considered are the following the first income is income from office or employment income reported on these following lines the second income is taxable income from scholarships and research grants the third one is income from a business carried on by the individual excluding losses and income from a communal organization so this applies to self-employed individuals and the fourth but not least is tax exempt part of working income earned on a reserve or an allowance received as an emergency volunteer so the threshold that i discussed for self-employed individuals applies to self-employed as well as employed individuals which is this one that i discussed yesterday a family with children 42,197 and the same of without children and single with children however single without children that is $32,244 and for Quebec, Nouveau, Nouveau and Alberta you guys can take a look at this numbers right over here and for the disability supplement family with children without children and single with children the threshold to not be over is $46,997 and single without children is $37,000 and $44 so in conclusion the amount that you guys individually receive for the benefit will be completely different again depending on your personal income whether that's employment income or self-employment income as well as the province that you guys live in now the maximum that you guys can receive and this we discussed yesterday is for single individuals is $1,395 and for families is $2,403 and this is for that basic part of the CWB and for that disability supplement if you guys qualify for this for single individuals and for families it is exact so the, the same thing the maximum is $720 now other factors that the CRA takes a look at when calculating your benefit are the following the province that you guys reside in your 
marital status, your working income or self-employment income, your net income, eligible dependents, if any, and finally, the eligibility for the disability supplement. So that was it for today's short little video. Hopefully, you guys got some value in today's video and your questions got answered. Now, if they did not, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer them in the comment section. But that was it today for me and I'll see you guys on the next video on the tripod.